International Stadium. South Africa v England is in play. And Pollard goes deep with the kickoff. Now with Youngs. He'll look for the clearing box kick. Youngs. Looking for touch, not getting it. It's grabbed by Vermeulen, who was a powerhouse in South Africa's win against Wales in the semi final. And already the England fans bowed out their rugby anthem around Yokohama International. But the penalty goes to the Springboks. So I'm Sean Maloney alongside me is Welsh Test Centurion Martin Williams. Sideline. New Zealand rugby legend Carl Tanana. KT, any wind or condition issues for all the kickers tonight? No, absolutely perfect conditions, and this is a perfect hit up first up by Mel Herbert. Courtney Laws is getting caught on the wrong side, but already South Africa showing they're going to be physical tonight. Yeah, KT's absolutely spot on. You could just see from that restart, Ben Young's high box kick brilliantly taken from the Moulin, but quick ball for Faf the Klug, but he didn't want any of it, slowed it down, waited for his big men to come round, hit that by Mark Herbert, and Law's penalised for not rolling away quickly enough, so great opportunity for Pollard. There he is, Pollard said this week that if he's not confident, he doesn't ask for the kicking tee, this time around though, he's pushed it across to the right, so a rare miss from Andre Pollard. Yeah, immaculate last weekend, Andre Pollard in the semi-final against Wales, 100%. And that wouldn't have done his nerves any good. Difficult kick, but one at this level you need to take and you expect to take, so a let off for England early on in the opening of this World Cup final. Deep they go with the 22 restart, and they will go to the air, South Africa. LaRue and Vermeulen give chase, taken well by Ford. And then there's a pile on her bodies. He does a good job to squeeze it back. Young's holding it up for the Tyro, the young Tyro, Tom Curry. Again, Young's keeping it in the field of play with a box kick down. Mapimpi, Mapimpi bounces his way around his own runners and then carries hard as well. There's an England player down and not looking great. Declerc, we're going to have to stop and come back. I think it might be some friendly fire. Yeah, one of those really awkward situations with both men from the same team going for the double hit. Did well, Mapimpi just broke the line initially. Sinclair, and I think it's Laws making a double tackle, and he was Sinclair immediately down. Just see this, Sinclair along with the Toji just catches the Toji's elbow and he will at the minimum Sinclair be off for the HIA yeah, he was he was seeing stars KT before he's even hit the ground for Sinclair yes indeed as you said just got the technique just a little bit wrong there he's hitting the wrong position but this guy's got ultimate footwork hasn't he the good old tournament long, Mark Pimpy. I don't think England really want to kick the ball back to the back three of South Africa too much. The kick chase was just a little bit off, and this guy here nearly exposed them. Yeah, we saw England last week against New Zealand just absolutely fly out of the box. They got territory, they got possession, carried ball. In this opening three minutes, they've been pinned back out there 22. Ben Young has been forced to go to the aerial, and it's South Africa's sort of game. England will try and go through the phases, put a bit of width on the game, but they're not I'm in the right areas as I'm yet. South Africa and Rasmus must be very, very happy with this start. Well, the thing that might hurt England here as well with Sinclair down is he was outstanding last week, particularly in the first half, distributing, running hard. He was their go to, more often than not, at first receiver. Absolutely, Sean. He is really grown in this tournament. He's a British Lion. He's learning his trade, still only 25, on the tight head, the ball in hand. He is so dynamic. Dan Cole, a very different sort of tight head, you know, not as dynamic around the park, excellent scrummage up, superb tight player, Dan Cole, but that will affect England's game plan even this early on, so that is a blow, and he's still being seen to, obviously, all of K2 
care and attention and due diligence will be done by the both medical teams to make sure Sinclair first and foremost is all about his health and his well-being. Well, he's Dan Cole, who is warming up, made his England debut back in 2010. He'll play his 98th test tonight as he has a chat to his good buddy, Joe Muller. They were all smiles and all laughs through the week at their press conference. It's like a wrestling setup with the two big guys. Yeah, big characters, both those men. Dan Cole, as you see, so much experience, so he won't be phased. Always difficult when you're on the bench and you have to come on this early in the game. You've got to be ready to go. You wouldn't have envisaged this, Dan Cole. Another thing there as well, the elbow from Itoje was just a sort of a glancing blow that went with him as well. Itoje, well, what about him last week? He's number one for turnovers at Rugby World Cup 2019. Player of the match last week as well. Turned 25 Monday this week. It's hard to believe he's only 25. It feels like we've been watching for 15 years, Martin Williams. Yeah, he's a machine. He really is a Toji. Burst on the scene as a young 19, 20-year-old of Saracens. Went on an amazing, I think, 19-game run and beaten or what, more or less a whole season. Oh, that's good to see. Cal Sinkler's up. He'll be arguing with the medics to stay on. But he needs to go off. The minimum to the HIU. is McPinty makes the break. Just, just catch him, I think, on, right on the temple where nothing you can do about that. So he was out before he's hit the ground. Carl Singer. It was good to see him on his feet and making his own way off the paddock. Well, unfortunately, it looks like that'll be the last time we'll see Carl Sinkler in Japan because he has been so much fun to watch. He scored that. Incredible try against Australia in the quarter-final where he ran it in from 25 out. And now he'll take a moment just to compose himself off the pitch. Straight into it for Dan Cole as well. No time to warm up, straight into the first scrum, first scrum of the evening. The gap is perfect, it's my shoulder. Both teams really do back this area. And we try and use this as a weapon throughout the 80. Crush! Very unusual to see a South African pack light, lighter than the opposition pack. But you saw there, 20 kilograms heavier, the England pack. It's all about technique. The clerk feeds it. Has Villaru short side, they set up. And now they drag it forward through the Mueller, looking to juice the penalty and doing just that now, playing with England's Marty Mapimpi. Mapimpi dancing his way into the defence. Play on. They're going to take advantage here. Detoy out the back. Pollard rips it to LaRue. LaRue looking to release it. Allende now gets his own way through. Where's Colby? Colby initially grabs and then holds on. So talented. Down low, Cheslin Colby towards the 22 now. South Africa, Minamarira, short from Brunambi. He manages to promote it as well. On they come, the angle running is good. The PP up one has to reach out and reel it in. Wrapped up by Daly, and Van is gone now for the box. And it's slow coming out. England all over the top. Someone's going to have to get in there and start shifting for South Africa, or have they lost it? It's going back the way of England now. They look to shift from their own danger zone. Not even green. The ball is here. They get it five away. That set level will enable Youngs to look for the box kick. Pollard is back. Mapipi up in the line. Promising start from South Africa. Putting the ball through the hand, and now England do just that to Farrell. Floats it wide and long. It's brave stuff from England. And now they bounce away through May, who is quick. Up over the 22. Outside. Settled through Lords. From behind their own try line, England. Now to the boot. Down towards Pollard. Needs some support. Goes to the skies and has Mapimpi landing a hand. Pollard goes up and leaps the man underneath. Pollard, sparkling play from the fly half. Manurira. 
The boost towards the six. De Klerk, Dalende, Dalende. As always, punching hard and getting metres post contact. LaRue loses it. It's picked up, but we're coming back. And if that's just the entree for what's to come over the next 75, we are in for an absolute ripper. Oh, what a passage of play. KG opening two minutes for the last three minutes has come to life. Andre Pollard out leaps four, just couldn't get the offload away. And eventually scrambling under hell with a good hit, dislodges the ball on William LaRue. South Africa, outstanding play, dominance in the scrum. Go through the phases, get on the edge of England, just as Jerome Garcia's calls advantage over. They get turned over. Get turned over. England relieving kick. What an opening, KT. Well, you knew South Africa would have to play some rugby to beat this England side after being so impressive last weekend. So your that bloke on screen was outstanding. Sam Underhill, but he just felt since the opening game where the Springboks lost to the All Blacks, they haven't played much footy, but now straight from the get-go, they've given up wide, they've been very dangerous. Willie LaRue has been heavily involved, but they've come with a new attitude. Yeah, anybody who thought this was going to be a walkover for England after... Good picture, guys. Last weekend, semi-final performances. Think again. This is a well-oiled South Africa machine. Perfect. Yes, they use their juggernaut power. When you've got players like Colby, Mapimpi, Willie Leroux in your back three, you've got danger as well. Look out for Manu Tuolangi off the scrum as well. Comes Chris. right tight next to this for the hit-up. So they've been ambitious as well, England. Set. Young's with a feed. No, this time round will repack it. Yeah, we saw around the halfway line, the first scrummage of the match on South Africa's put in the big man there, Dwayne Bermuda, and kept it at the base, went for the second shove, South Africa. And got real dominance. And that's something that would have shocked this England pack, not used to going backwards in the scrum, but so much power, not only in that front row of South Africa, but the big men behind. Crush! My! Set! The second engagement is better, and again, South Africa get the shove on, and England get loose across their own poles. Pollard goes in and makes the stop shot. And now the penalty man. for the Springboks. They swarmed. They got all over the top. And they have won. An absolute gimme of a penalty right in front of the poles. Well, you go back seven days, and England's attack, everything was on point. Strong on feet, Chris the passing. Ball. Channel one, Billy Vanapola. The ball is there. He gets on the outside. Just a simple pass. Goes to nobody. And then just watch Khaleesi. He's over the ball. Sorry, Dwayne Vermoulin. He's over the ball, supported by his captain number six. So strong in that position. And that man there is delighted. And it's a give me three points for South Africa, and they deserve this after the opening seven minutes of play. Well, a lot of the pressures come down to the set piece scrum for South Africa. At the moment, even on England's ball, the second shove come, and they were under pressure right from the get go, forcing their pass. And this is an absolute gimme. You can throw it over from here. England playing the game in the wrong end of the field. Pollard with a chip shot, nails the first three on the board in the World Cup final. That's a perfect kick for Pollard after his opening miss. Right in front of the sticks, as KT says, you can just throw it over. And what a start for the South Africans. Written off for most of the week. But they have absolutely physically dominated England in this opening ten minutes. Plenty of hang time on this restart. LaRue, though, grabs it before being whacked by Curry. Diaga. He's inside, had inside. A terrific Back. tournament. The giant Springbok lock. De Klerk. Fades that one across the touchline. Yeah, you can see the trajectory of that kick. No intention whatsoever of keeping her on the park. 
they put it off the park and they put England's lineup under pressure. Owen Farrell, a very interesting tactic, just Owen Farrell stood at the front. To the back they go, Laws got off the top now, Farrell sweeps around, Youngs lays it off on the switch, and they punch it into the South African defence. Now they reload short side, wide it goes, and it's into touch. So they get creative from the set piece, but South Africa hold their nerve and force a turnover. Yeah, Ben Youngs just throwing the pass into touch. Well, the go. Fast the click. You see what he does? He shoots up on the outside, which, when you're the ball player, puts you in two Six. minds. He's gone for the, the floated over the top, but to nobody. And it's a very, very nervous opening ten minutes. Oh, yeah, the team passes go into the floor. Sure. Off the mark, and South Africa, they capitalise it. It's a bit, pulls it down. Now they sheer short side of Toze over the top, looking for the steal, now losing it forward. And that's how it's been picked up from Jerome Garces. Pollard over for Dalende. LaRue trying to skip past Tulangi. Delays a switch for Colby. It was an ugly one for Cheslin. And will come back for the knock on from Atoje. He went within a whisker of forcing a penalty for England. Yeah, they do well defensively we England on the driving wall right. to disconnect. See Dan Cole going in there. That's the bed. You thought the told you he was over it for all money, but it's great work <laughs> from a Bambi just to come in and just dislodge. Marlon told you really was good, good work with the South African hooker. So difficult to move, I told you, you've seen him with more turnovers than any other player in this World Cup 10. Seen how good he is over the ball, but that's fantastic work. Mabandi Mabambi, the South African hooker. Just Carlton Arnott, they're making it tough for Cheslin Colby on that far side with those late switches, throwing his feet, Slow holding him up. Really low. Like. Yeah, yeah Willie LaRue's holding the ball, I think, a couple yeah, steps too many. He should give the because ball straight to the cover will give him safe, yeah. an opportunity. He's ghosting across the field at the moment. Well, I think if he gets a one-on-one -on -one with Chesley, we know who nine times out of ten the winner's going to be. Give him some space. Yeah. And this is what was fascinating. Yeah, when you know you've got dominance in the scrum, to see what Trash. South Africa do. We saw earlier on, Dwayne Vermeulen just keeps it at his feet to go for the second shove. They have a huge confidence in South African type 5 that they've got dominance over the England type 5. We saw the weight over 20 kilograms heavier in England. But at scrum time, it's technique, and technically, South Africans are superb in this area. So if you're just tuning in and you're an England fan, we can let you know that Sinclair will take no further part. Set! a knock from Laura Toje. Accidental knock. He's off. Dan Paul is on. And South Africa are really putting it to England at scrum time. De Klerk. Dalende. Dalende. Look at him explode into contact. They go skittling all around him. Now the box from De Klerk. Mapimpi towards Watson. Watson, what a grab. That forces a quick realignment in defence for South Africa. Now England prop and pump it right up the middle. It's a good strike from four down to Luru. And he's rushed into the kick to touch, so it's a result for England. Yeah, they needed a bit of relief, England. It was brilliant work from Anthony Watson. Good carry initially from Delandy. But Watson, he's a star. He is a world-class winger or fullback. Absolutely outstanding tournament. Just settles England's nerves by taking the high ball. At last, England get field position and an opportunity to attack. Marley Tuolangi comes in inside centre for this set piece play. But they won't get a handle, will they? No, it's lost by the England forwards at the line out. The line out function so sweetly last week. A rare miss at line out time, and South Africa just. Cranking up the noise on them at the set piece. Yeah, that's what South Africa will do to you. We saw Faf the Clerk earlier on just putting her off the park. They'll back the defensive line up brilliant from Etzebez, getting up just causing havoc in front of Laws. Sorry. As you say, Shawnee England's lineup was like clockwork last week against New Zealand, but 
They've done their homework, the South Africans, you take away their primary okay. possession. Find it very hard to launch the likes of Bonapola, okay. Tuolangi in the back line. It's a brilliant start for the South African pack, KT. What the physicality, isn't it? It's something you always know and attribute to the South African unit. At the moment, they're challenging England. What am I saying England? Just put away the trick plays, go back Man, to what they here. know, just settle things down. At the moment, they just seemed a little bit rushed. An off kilter attack, whereas this guy, well, you know, he's oh, such an analysis type of guy. He's left nothing in the tank, that's for sure, for tonight. Well, through 15 minutes of play, it's almost the polar opposite of last week when England took on New Zealand, where they controlled the physicality and field position and the scoreboard as well. Tonight, it's South Africa. Completely, and South Africa defend in a very different way to New Zealand. New Zealand hold their line and they drift across the field and give you space to attack. And back their pace on the outside, where the South Africa will come full face to you, use the bits defence and take all your space down so you can't get from football. Plus, they've taken away the primary possession of England as well. So they dominate in territory, they dominate in possession, South Africa. It's an ideal start. They've been written off all week, I'm sure, or every team talk. From Rassi Erasmus and his coaching team would just be reminding the South African players but how England are lifting the trophy already after the performance against New Zealand. But no two games are ever the same. And they've really shown up South Africa in the opening 15. There's another scrum penalty for South Africa. It's becoming an area of real concern here for England. Absolutely, it is, Sean. He's penalised Michael Vinopolo that time for losing his feet on the far side. And he's gone all in, Pollard, and he's come up short. Super work from May. Tapped it back for Daly. He kicks the touch. Oh, what about the tip back? Brilliant from me. After the hit, he moved. Pollard has gone. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. It's brilliant. He started from within the field. Of, ooh, that should be After called the back. Hit, His foot is on you the move touch and line. You One. So Johnny May, that should be where Johnny May has touched the ball and tapped back. It looks incredibly athletic. It's a good effort, but still South Africa's line out. Minami to Itzibit. England do a good job of stopping it initially, and now they start to grind their way up the field, South Africa. Angle towards touch. Now straightening. De Klerk. Dalinde has three on him. George with a tackle. It's really scrappy at the base there. De Klerk. It's a bit. You know, he's opposite number, Cole in there. Get, get, get. The clerk, box kicking now. The chase is good from Colby. <laughs> May takes the free kick, it was the old. I'm going up, I'm going up. Actually, no, I'm not. He's off, it's hard to know, fan if you're an England fan foot, he'd misjudged it. Play on, play on. Okay, though, the pass for Lords. He holds on. Young's now. Vinny Polis sets out after it. Lovely tap back, was it? No. Penalty. Offside. Not forward in the air by so Pollard. In front. They couldn't help themselves. The guy's in front and does Bailey step in here? Could be an option. It's the first penalty they've conceded. South Africa, Pete Steph the tie, just can't help himself and knock on from Pollard. Clearly in front, you catch a ball. And just his reaction, Pete Steph the tie, just look at his face. But that could be the break that England needed. The frantic, they got away with one. Johnny May takes a quick tap, shovels it on the Lords, who nearly loses the ball in the contact. Really the glass from an England point of view. It's the side. They're getting towards South Africa's 22. Number five. Jamie George with the line out throw. Laws grabs it. Now they peel away. George delaying the switch for May. May bounces his way over the 22. Youngs. 
Young's delays the pass here for George. Where are their big ball runners? Curry. Curry gets buckled there by Kulisi. Farrell, flat for Bruni Pola. Finally gets a handle. Now his brother. No! Dropped on the spot. Okay. That was Marco. Laws leaping over Mbadami. He doesn't look great either. He's not a hundred. On we go though with Daly. Daly looking to release Watson. Mapupi with a key tackle. Numbies out of the defensive line. Ford onto Billy Billy Pope. That keeps it alive for Marco Villapola. Side to side and now numbers across to the left. Key tackle from Colby. Shuts that threat down and now another penalty for England. 14. And we're going to have to come back and take a look at Bongi and Bonambi, who is no, not great in the, the midfield. Oh, it's so, so physical on that game line. Big carriers of England, Ivinopoulos, Laws, carrying hard, not getting much gains out of the okay. South African defence. This time, timed it brilliantly, didn't he, Colby? Gets to his feet. Then he's off his feet, he can't play that ball, he needs to release, just uses a hand just to knock it back. But this was the carry from Laws, gets over the game line, just head on the wrong side, knee to the head of Bambi. And he'll be off for an HIA, again pleading with the medic not to come off. Well, they've got a pretty handy replacement, don't they? South Africa, and Malcolm Marks in jersey number 16, but he's been so energetic throughout this tournament, has Mbunambi, I think that's why he's been starting, but... The England team physically not getting over the game line like they did last week until that last run from Courtney Maybe Laws. And finally, from where they were only moments earlier in round 22, an opportunity for points and even it up. Yeah, spot on, KT. That's been the difference, really, the physicality and the rush defence of South Africa. Can't get on the front foot, can't get quick ball for Ben Youngs. Nearly got on the edge with a little outside break from Marco Vunapola. But only conceded four tries in the whole tournament. Uh, listen, uh, South Africa shows, shows how defensively strong they are. Malcolm Marks who plays like an additional back rower. Man, he made a fantastic impact last week when he came on against Wales, didn't he? Malcolm Marks in multiple turnovers and a very short shift. Yeah, Wales on the previous week against Japan. It's a one-man wrecking machine. He really is up there yeah. with the best in the world. But starting um, we need to get better most of the national teams. They're driving like through them all before the ball's in. They're yeah, but guard. after the heat, you step yeah, back. Diaga back does not look feet. good for South Africa. So Franco Mosto looks like he's going to come on, but he's really uh, favouring that left-hand shoulder, isn't he? What's wrong? Uh, Surprised that it's not RG Snamer who comes on for Lou Diaga. So it'll be the workhorse. Moss, sir. Yeah, he's in real pain. It's such a shame. Yeah, oh, just his left arm, just awkward. You know, we're a big man, Billy Bonapola. Just a little bit loose, his left shoulder, left arm. And it's such a shame. It's the last thing you want to see. You know, this is the biggest game in a player's career, lives. I mean, you've got to come off early with an injury. Such a shame for the big man. Uh, about five, it's okay. Yes. Yeah. Owen Farrell looking to close on, in on. on Utamura of Japan as the tournament's top on. point scorer. Andre Pollard in the running on that front as well. Farrell 16 in as we get the subs on. Marks and Mostert. Don't stay. Owen Farrell to lock us up again. Owen Farrell. The skip. Juicing the clock and then locking us up. 3 3. 22 gone. 
those English fans, the English players, the English management. They'll be delighted with only <laughs> in free all on the scoreboard after being dominated for the opening 20 minutes. Over the top of it, Tose. De Toy looking for it. And they get a result from the restart South Africa. Look they rushed way. up. They forced the issue. And yeah. this is prime real estate. Oh, it's put South Africa. Yes, yeah, pressure short. Good so kick guys, from Pollard. It's clear the, pro the problem comes from here. Week in, week out. Okay, so Maro Toji will take or just misses standard. the flight standard. of the ball. Tom Kelly's got no chance. That short the time to react. And this was basic errors we've seen England. Passes going to ground, missed line outs, and it's what pressure does do. And what a chance for South Africa to bounce right back after conceding that three points. My so some changes at hooker for South Africa. Marks is good in the middle there now. They creep forward. Vermeulen happy to continue to drag it along and now the penalty advantage and Vermeulen picks and goes. Diesel Dwayne gets it, 10 from the line, De Klerk. Looking for options, connecting with the captain. Madawarira rides his back, Moster holds it up, Pollard, LaRue. LaRue flat from a pimpy and it's no good. good. Four passes a call and we're going to go back to where the scrum took place, penalty, South Africa. That's old school South African power, isn't it? Scrum time. Just see Dan Under Cole the when we see the replay. Just watch Dan Cole, he goes aerial. So much pressure on this side, number 18 for England. Oh, it's clear. Just the power, Marks you pops up. The pressure. Here he goes. No, it's fine. The beast gets underneath Cole. Pressure forces him aerial. It's another chance for Pollard. To go for the sticks, and there's the penalties. Four to two. Yeah, fantastic yeah, work though for the number eight for South Africa. Dwayne Van Mullen there under enormous pressure. Yeah. And up there under the pressure. In front of him to take that pick and go. Got over the yeah. advantage line. He's been good to the start of this game for the first 24 minutes. Remember, Andre Pollard missed a similar kick in this position. Needs to nail this one. Words there of New Zealand rugby legend Cal Tanana. Welsh Test Centurion, Mark Williams is upstairs alongside me, Sean Maloney. Great to have you with us for the call of this World Cup final from Yokohama International. 70,000 in the house. Those South African fans hoping that their number 10, Pollard, can make it two from three tonight. Pollard takes the scoreline for a walk again. 6-3, South Africa South Africa missed his opening kick, kick on Rupala, but has grown into it the last 25 minutes of this game. Looks assured, looks confident, like the rest of this South African team. Again, plenty of hang time on the restart, and it's down for LaRue. LaRue inside, fearless back towards the oh, England oh, 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 forwards. 20. Yeah, no, no, no. Skips out of the base of that rock. And to touch it goes. Yeah, again, straight off the park. Inside. Doesn't use the forwards. They don't mess about in their own 22 with the ball, South Africa. The clerk straight off the park. And there'll be a few demons in Maro Toji's head. He's missed a, a receipt from a kickoff. He's had one line out stolen. So the brain's trust Number. there amongst the forwards. They'll be calling where Number. Jamie George throws this. Absolute gigantic opposition from WhatsApp and it's Bez who's got it's gone, they've gone quick. Sharp to the front. Well, that's a tough one. Ripped across the park from Ben Youngs. They just hold on out wide. Now looking in behind. The Pimpy has to come across and cover, but it's out on the fly. And we're heading back over halfway for a green and gold line out throw. Oh, they're so, so disjointed, this English team at this moment. As you say, brilliant take from Marco Vunapola from a virtually impossible pass from Ben Youngs. George Ford then just overcooks it. There's just pressure rugby from South Africa. And England have got no response in the opening 25 minutes, KT. 
He was a thing of South Africa aren't scared to kick it out and challenge them. They've taken away the threat of Mauro Toji, and I think now it's forced England into game plan B. And at the moment, they don't have that. He's received another second roll going down for South Africa. He bet it's if they can ill-afford this big man to come off as well, South Africa. Well, South Africa led by three early, and they could have yeah. been down uh, if it wasn't there. for that man, yeah. who has come up with one of the all-time try savers, Cheslin Colby, 171 yeah, centimetres yeah, high, 74 yeah. kilos yeah. in weight, yeah. found a way to drop yeah. Courtney yeah. Laws, 201 yeah. centimetres, 115 yeah. kilos. Rugby, yeah. a game for all shapes and sizes, yeah. and that man yeah. in the running yeah. to be the World Rugby Player yeah. of the Year announced tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Sensational rugby players, New Chesham coming. It's brilliant to see himself after Clue. Yes, ball in hand, it superb but defensively as well. They will not shirk their tackles and they make their hits at the crucial times. To the front they go, into Beth OK. And they spin them all around. England are all over it. Some giant frames in that England pass. Have they done enough to turn it over? No. Dunlinde. Skip steps his way into the defence. The clerk. Bit of step to Toy. Oh, he gets jarred. Gets jarred heavy. With Sam Underhill, we saw him do it all game long last week. LaRue holding up. Delende was, in fact, held it up. They couldn't hang on. Now, surely a penalty. Yes, it is for England. Oh, Laconia. Lacanya is on the halfway line, but he has blown a golden opportunity. South Africa do really, really well to create the overlap on this left-hand side. And he just starts to look before he's caught the ball. Trademark Sam Underhill on Pete Steph the time. What a matchup that is. Brilliant technique from the young flankers we've seen all tournament. Yeah, that overchase on defence, England, so they really did get caught out short on that. Right hand side of the field in your right arm absolutely had numbers on the outside. Yeah, yeah good call. Yeah, it's a really good well call. played from South Africa. Crucial moment. You know what? A missed opportunities we all think inside the 22, but sometimes it work. <laughs> Those big opportunities come around the halfway line and they create it's so difficult with two defences of this strength to create the overlaps and Delande and Pollard have done that well this opening half an hour has just been two heavyweights just standing toe to toe going whack 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 who's going to drop first it is and both teams I mentioned South Africa only conceded four tries all tournament likewise England so difficult to break down Laws off the top Young's three to three but then it's through the arms of Farrell and then a four for England okay in comes Billy Bunapola. Lost her. No ice cream! He won't give an inch. Manages to put him down. They go again. Underhill. Marks. Checks his run. Curry. Bounces past one. Marks is across there again. Good repeat effort from Alka Marks. Marko Bunapola. Just giant men. Clobbering each other in close and out wide. Who can get the ascendancy? Can the fleet footed backs get a handle? This man's a back, but he's built like a forward. Too long, he takes his side for Youngs to Lords. Their best field position all night here, England. Billy Bunapola. Has Mako, his brother, behind. And now for Youngs. Curry. Mustard again with the tackle. Youngs back for Laws. Two 201 centimetre giants bounce into each other on that occasion. And now the England fans look to lift their side over the line for the first five pointer of the night. Billy Bunapola, great carry. Youngs, Youngs holding up for Underhill. Underhill inches away. Penalty advantage. Coming here for England. Cole at the back. Cole goes backwards. Now pops for Youngs. 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 Peter stepped to Toy. Puts him down. Now they go short side. Still the penalty advantage. Forward, forward for Laws. Laws. 
shows good balance yeah, to stay alive. The phases keep the coming. Curry for Mako Vunapola. They keep whacking away. Billy Vunapola drilled by Marks and Mostel. Youngs. Short side again. Two along for Laws looking to release for Ford. They wrap him up. Youngs. Mako Vunapola. They keep. Jack hammering away, Billy Bunapola. Somehow the green wall stays intact. Atoje, Atoje stands in the tackle. Cole at the back. Cole! They're almost over the line. Youngs, Billy Bunapola is on this near side with Curry. They go to him, they go to him. But he's dropped again. Desperate from South Africa. Now they put it through the hands. Daly over the top for Watson. Watson. LaRue holds on. South Africa hold on. Still with England though. Now Farrell. He's put down. Somehow the Springboks send England backwards. Laws. Laws gets chopped. Dalende, as he's done all tournament long, with a stinger to cloak round the corner. Now, penalty advantage for Ford and England for Farrell. Farrell floats it over the top. May, May trying to pass his way through to Longy. Back to where it all began. It's exhaustive. World Cup final rugby from both sides. Now they come wide again, England. Daly. Daly pops it up for Curry, and after all that, we'll head all the way back One, two, for the initial two penalty. penalty. In I don't know how they can sustain One, this. That was ridiculous. Uh, it's in the absolutely one, incredible defence from South Africa. That's a lot of penalties. No, like, like, England like, throw it absolutely. Listen to me. Everything only one here the South African offense, they're one holding green. strong. Only one, only Owen one Farrell, here. And this question is one Jerome Garcia is pleading for a card. Here and here. And if you're South Africa, you are absolutely delighted if they only come yeah, away with three right points. Here. Yeah, but only one They penalty. blew it earlier on in that. England, they had an overlap on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, but just didn't execute the call. Take a bow, South Africa, for the defense to hold on. One. Scramble no. offense, working Jackie. so hard for each other. <laughs> Just couldn't get through, KT. No, I totally agree with you, man. They'll be absolutely stoked just to leg three rather than five or seven. Attack wins your games, but defense absolutely wins your tournaments, that's for sure. And they stuck in the fight there. South Africa, as you spoke about, they're taking away the space off England. And in the end, you have to say this guy, Owen Farrell, will put the save and will be locked up five minutes to go. Farrell. And with that penalty goal, it becomes equal tournament top point scorer. It is 6 6. We can't split them with 35 in the rearview mirror. Yeah, a positive from England. That's a first phase of play where they've gone through the phases. They're big carriers, Vunapola's brothers, Laws. Keep working hard. Got over the game line, created some quick ball. Number the hats off to it's South Amy. Africa. Just held on. Pollard, again, they go that same side of the park with the restart. Right here, Green. Stay back. Stay behind him. Stay behind him. Yeah. Youngs. Down towards Vermeulen. Vermeulen looks up and says, who wants some? Matoje, happy to oblige. Vermeulen falls to the floor after gaining a couple of metres. The clerk. LaRue. Chasing Mpimpi. Mpimpi. With the grab. Excellent take from Mpimpi. Mpimpi. The clerk. Looks short. So that goes wide. And that gives England the chance to rush up and shut down through the Toje. Slow, and they're told to use it by Jerome Garces. The clerk. 
LaRue. Pollard, dummies. Pollard gets through and then shoots it out the back end. Would you believe Billy Vernon Pollard angling back says, I'll take it. Cheers. But now back with South Africa. And the long ball for Dalende. Dalende holding it up for Kulisi. Mpimpi with the early handle, the early release from Sia Kulisi. He's got to get back and tidy up the run. Marks. Yeah, from Wait. the side. So we come back here, penalty. We're heading back. It's a Springboks penalty. LaRue wants it quick. From the marker. What happened, Carl, to none up with that turnover? Billy Vinopola had it and then it popped Holding back on. to the green and gold. And yeah, I think it was Dwayne Van Mielen. The opposite number, he came and did some Six. great work at that breakdown. He's been absolutely brilliant in the first 36 minutes. There he is there. And amongst oh, everything, what about that hit up? Him v. Mario Toje. Yeah, Pollard, we saw last week when he does decide to carry, he's such a big dynamic player, just doesn't keep hold yeah. of the ball. Pete yeah. Steph the tie in the inside, and there he is. Believe in a pull up. Just watch for Mulan over the yeah. ball. He's brilliant for a big man in that contact. If you look at wide, his base is his feet. Big steal. He's taking a well earned breather. Hopefully, it's not too much damage to that shoulder for Vermulen. He has been gigantic in this opening half for South Africa, and it gives Pollard another shot at the sticks. Dwayne Vermeulen, his side's top ball carrier it's last water, week. Water. Looking to match that effort in the biggest one of all. And in comes Andre Pollard. His initial shot at goal stayed out to the right, just caught the breeze and just hung about two metres wide of the sticks. This is the perfect angle to see if he can reclaim the lead for South Africa. Pollard drawing it back. Pollard has clubbed it. Nine, six is the score, and the Springboks are up again. A superb kick for Andre Pollard. Brilliant angle from right behind him. You could see it was never anywhere other than straight between the sticks. And they're back in front, South Africa. Big, big minute and a half before half time. Vermeulen with a restart receipt. Look at him go, Diesel Dwayne! Up over the 22. And now that field position forces. Another recycle of the ball to Clerk. They tick tack it, and Pollard is in the pocket if the Clerk wants him. Slow coming out. Not required. It's actually fumbled but gone backwards, and this is risky for Dalende. Dalende with arm. Ikanya arm. Arm gets through. A promising run from arm, and then he kicks it away to England, and Daly loses it. It'll work out all right for the Kanye arm, but after Backlund. the run, surely, ball in hand Backlund. was the go. Yeah, it was more accident no, than design, no. this counter-attack. No. Faf the clip fumbles at the back. Delende, he has been outstanding in this tournament. Clearly Time just passed to perfection. Really Good no silky run by, right by arm. Speculative kick, to say the least, but he gets away with it. Awkward bouncing ball for Elliot Daly, and a clear knock-on, and what an opportunity for South Africa just before half time to use the power of his scrum again and he got maybe another penalty brilliant play yeah from Delande and arm he butchered a golden opportunity earlier on good silky run and South Africa will be delighted with its first half you wouldn't think Crush. This ball will travel beyond the size 13 shoes of Dwayne Vermeulen. The highlighter green boots at the back there. Here they go with a scrum. And they're edging, they're edging, they're edging, and winning the penalty to Clark. Pollard, Dalende looks up, Dalende holding up now for Arm, who cuts his way back towards the midfield. Lovely ball from Mostert, who pops it out, and we're going to come back. 
to the churn turf to the mark and it will be Pollard who will step in again for the Springboks to potentially set up a six point lead. Oh, they just cannot call this England Park with the power, the beast on this near side against Dan Cole. It's been a torrid afternoon since coming on the field and he turns in, collapses the scrum, just cannot cope. The powerful South African scrummage, KT, in this opening half. Well, the graphic says it all, doesn't it? Scrum penalties, three to England, they've given away. Very tough situation to that man. Dan Cole had to come into Rassi Erasmus. Still knows they've had a couple of opportunities they probably should have taken. He's looking at the analysis, but that guy has worked overtime. The beast really put his team in a prime position. Andre Pollard. After a first up miss, he has absolutely drilled the next three. This to make it a six-point game. Pollard! It's good! And right on half-time, it is all Andre Pollard's boot that has given his side the advantage. They are up the break in the World Cup final over England. The score, 12 points to six. <laughs> we are moving again in the Rugby World Cup final from Yokohama International Stadium. England v South Africa. England down at the break by six and with an early touch. In this second half, they go deep. They go down towards Pollard, who has all of South Africa's points so far. He is four from five off the kicking tee. Yeah, too much on that return from George Ford there. Give Pollard plenty of time just to call the mark, clear his lanes. The words there of Welsh. Test Centurion, Mark Williams, I'm sure Maloney, sideline, Carl Tanana, KT, any changes at the break? As I said, just the number 19 for England, George Cruz is on, replacing Courtney Lewis. To the back they go. It's a good grab from Cruz, and now to Maloney, who was starved of possession in the first half, Barrel on the in-ball for Curry. Put down just short of halfway. Young. Charged down there by Khaleesi, who is so good at doing it. Marco Gunapar. Ford rushing into the pass again to two Lane to clerk. Muscles up, goes in and gets him. His mate. Young. Out the back to Ford. Gunapar again. Now Ford goes to the air. The chase is good, and so is the grab from LaRue, who just collapses under the bodies. Go, 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 go. They were coming through looking to collect him. No, 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 no. De Klerk with a quick box kick this time round. Daly for Ford. May wants it out here. That's to Alungi in the near channel to the tackle though from the Kanye arm and now they go in hard at the breakdown South Africa have they got it they lose their feet and it stays with Otoje and Ford and he floats it across the park and now the outside in defense presents an opportunity for Curry who gets it away to Watson Dalende trying to weave his way through the bodies and get a shot on can't do so it is so rapid, the line speed of South Africa in defence, and it is unsettling England. Now they go shorter and more direct through Underhill, over halfway. Ford, Ford, delaying the ball for Daly, Daly, with Colby on him, and Khaleesi as well. Youngs. Mako Vinopola bounces it across the field to brother Billy. Ford, again, trying to work the angles here, and again, they rush up outside in South Africa, and it's going to bring a result on this occasion inside the England half. Oh, take the ball again, the South African defence. Again, England trying to go through the middle. 
no change, trying to go outside, just the line speed they bring South Africa, the pressure. Big piece left to toy, he's putting the ball carrier and under. Yes, pass. he gets the pass away, but it's so it's rushed, it's not accurate. Two or three occasions. The line speed they bring. They just can't cope KT with this South African line speed. Yeah, number nine fluffed the clerk a couple of times. This time it has run absolutely brilliant out of the line and again on that far side of the field, getting over, doing some great work on the inside, so causing that miss pass from England. Rossi Rasmus will stand yeah, yeah. down as Springboks coach Stand at the end off. of this World Cup, win, lose or draw. Eddie Jones contracted with England through to 2021. And for those of you who love your stats, I can tell you this. That every running of the World Cup in the final, the team that has led at halftime has gone on to win. 8-8 on that front, so if you're a Springbok supporter who lives and dies on stats, then... You are one happy camper right now. Yeah, brand new front row for the South Africans. Only Jersey 17 kicks off 18 o'clock as well, replacing Indrawira and Malherba. What an effort from the two props, the two... The two Awara. Malherba have been absolutely outstanding. Gosh. Now, kicks off and cock, and they pick up the mantle and destroy this England scrubbers. The start in front row did in the first half. That's exactly what they do. They work it hard. Oh, it's a domination. Under the pressure. It is a total domination. Under the pressure, under the scrum. At the scrum with South Africa out muscling England for another penalty. As I mentioned, the two replacement props, Kitsoff and Cock, Mark and Marks, all new front row. That front row would start for most nations, and just what a reaction from the South African bench. Francois Stein, <laughs> he's delighted, and it gives Andre Pollard. Just going to say to you, Shawnee, as you were mentioning the stat, yeah. no team has ever come back from losing at half time. The next score for me in this game is crucial. If South Africa, Pollard slots is over, England are chasing the game, two scores behind, and look at that, four scrums, four penalties, sorry, conceded at scrum time. And it's not going to get any easier for England during this half. Joe Marler just undoing his tracks to top and replacement loose head for England. Yeah. This will be Andre Pollard's hardest shot at the poles tonight, the longest. He has bombed it through. Francois Puna. He can breathe a little easier. How about this strike from Pollard? Whack! Oh, Andre Pollard take the bow. Missed with his first, readjusted his radar. Francois Pina is absolutely delighted. It's pragmatic from the box, it's power. But it's winning rugby. The biggest difference of the night. Look at Finapola trying to clip Vermeule in there. Somehow, Dwayne Vermeule misses. The enormous frame that is Billy Finapola. It's shallow. The box hit May. Johnny May comes down with it. England through Cruz. Cruz. Marks is over the top. Now Garcia says, out to go. Malcolm, Billy Winnipeller again. Ford for George. Drifting across to the right here, England. Now straightening. Through Curry. Balls a call. Wow. Oh, the strength of Peter Steftatoy. He's in the running for the World Rugby Player of the Year. He's a nominee. And he's a monster. Yeah, we do advice to not run into DL Andy and Steph the Toy. The big South African inside centre. Doing so much work. Holds up Curry. Carcez clearly calls them all. Steph the Toy has just been an exocet in defence throughout the game. Flying off his line, making hits. Sari his emotions, his face tells you all, won't be happy with how this game is panning out. Still plenty of time for England. Need a bit of magic from somewhere, maybe a Tulani, maybe a Watson, a May. 
But they are coming off second best in the arm wrestling the pucks at this minute. De Klerk. Again. This time around, England. Oh, they go through the correct angles and they infringe. And this will help relieve pressure for South Africa. You're walking around. Well, they reverted the tight. That's the fifth scrum penalty. Looks solid initially from England. Could make an argument there for me. Kitsoff has come around the side, and that's why it caused the, the instability. But that's just a consequence of what's gone on in the opening 48 right, minutes. And Gar says, the referee, he's only seen dominance from South Africa. No. Please watch. Joe Marler, yeah, fresh on the on park. Your, on your side. Okay. It's become a weapon, hasn't it? It's that scrum for the Springboks. But for me, it's the Bedlam, the loose Curry Underhill and Wooden Pollard. Been out played by Khaleesi, Peter Stiff, the Toy and Van Muren tonight. A bit. It was banged up in the first half, but has stayed on the park, and now England get one back. Yeah, one back. Maru Otoji just disrupted the driving wall, exposed the ball carrier, and once he comes on, just see the work they've done. Dan Cole gets through early. Maru Otoji clamps on the ball, goes down, forces the knock on. So, and England put into the scrum. Ben Young's trying to encourage his pack. It's like a chance for England here. George Ford is going to take his lead, and Henry Slade's coming on the jersey 22. Well, they needed a spark. I mentioned it earlier, they need a bit of magic. Henry Slade can certainly create that fabulous football act. Going foul, moving to the 10 slot. Tulangi, they all move in when. Oh, sorry, Tulangi to stay at 13, Slade at 12. George Ford's been very difficult for him on the back foot, just hasn't clicked. Shows you the pressure, England, Eddie Jones feel they're under, they've, got, they've gone to the bench early, Mine. looking for a spark. <laughs> Youngs, the scrum better from England now, and it's their penalty win at the set piece. They've been stung into action. Do you take the three or you go to the sideline? That's the thing. Do you got to take the points? Yeah, I think you go for the points, especially with the kicker of Carol Farrell's capabilities. But yeah. is this Joe Marlow made a difference since he's come on on that loose head side? Brilliant scrum from England. And what a momentum changer that could be. A real noticeable change in body language from their forward pack as well because they have been under the pump since the get-go tonight. Oh, they have, they really have. Joe Marla. Retired from international rugby, reversed his decision to come back. More a moment for him. Sheer power. Gives Farrell the opportunity to chip away at this South African lead. Owen Farrell. And a real silence falls on the predominantly English crowd here at Yokohama International. This to stay in the fight. Nine points, the biggest deficit they've had tonight to be down against. And up steps the skipper. Makes it look easy. It's 15-9. And England are back in the fight. They are back in the fight. They've been hanging on in this match. In the South African dominance up front, struggle to get over the game line, struggle at scrum time. But was that a momentum change of the last England scrum? The restart down towards the Toje, and they're screaming for the penalty here, England. I don't know that they'll get it. It all looked legal from South Africa. Youngs. Towards Vermeulen, has time to grab it and down low. Round his boots was underhill. Kitsoff. 
LaRue at first receiver, just gets the kick away and gets absolutely pumped by Farrell. Yeah. Fell heavy there, with Toja. Leave it now, Green! Move! OK, Guns. good job. Stay, stay. Farrell, after making that big shot on LaRue, Back to send the kick downtown, and now Pollard almost got away from Watson and England getting over the ball and get the penalty. On and on, that was Curry. And the thrust of this game his feet. swings back Not momentarily to the men in white. Oh, it's incredible, isn't it? Just at the crucial time, Pollard loses his foot in, ankle tap from Watson, which allows. Tom Curry to get oh, over the clear. ball. Captain is clear. Win another crucial penalty. No, and it's no. an amazing the game, isn't it? Check. Just when you think South Africa are in total control. Couple of decisions pull out very rarely when you see him come to attack from back there. Decides to roll the dice, just loses his foot in. And it's like being in Twickenham. The crowd have come to life very quiet in that opening 50. But they can sniff blood. <laughs> Up steps. Yeah. Alan Farrell again. Good call, Romain. But I wait. Flawless so far with his People shots on is. goal. You do a really good job. The captain looking to do it here for the coach, Eddie Jones. Owen Farrell. It's a tricky kick for Owen Farrell. Farrell. Owen Farrell. It saves the right hand upright, but it's on the wrong side for the England fans. South Africa breathe a sigh of relief. Such an accurate goal kicker, Owen Farrell. He'll be disappointed with other standards he sets. Andre Pollard misses an earlier one as well. So one each for the goal kickers. For England, back in this one. Shallow, 22 restart. It's a bit for Del Linde. How did the lock get that one away? Monster. Ducks under a toes. To Clerk. LaRue increasing his involvement at first receiver, puts it in behind. Mapipi is flying up the park daily. Grabs it and is rushing in the kick to touch. And now the small pockets of South African fans here get their chance to cheer. Oh, it's even and flowing. They don't take him out. Watch the skills from the big man. Out of the back door, a little flick to Delandy. Does really well to stay in the field of play. A good vision from Willie LaRue. Daly. And Gamble have gone to the left hand side, Back he's under up. pressure. Great chase from a pimpy and an attacking opportunity for South Africa. They're off quick ball. Here they come. The spring box down Linde midfield. Look at this pocket of giants. They look to stand in the tackle and maul their way. And now the penalty advantage that's so clever from South Africa. De Klerk down Linde short on runners. Pollard floats it wide for Colby, has to go low, Ches and Colby still finds a way to cut it field, may go slow on him and will go back. What about this setup? Explain this to those catching for the first time. Offside will be the call on the second occasion. But the setup for the mall. So smart, as you say, Sean. I was expecting the driving mall initially from the lineup, but it's a rehearse move. They go early and just watch. They hit up with the landing, just all the forwards congregate. After this hit up, so do you know if this is actually the advantage they've gone for. And just this is the mall, the driving mall. It's Colby being pushed into touch. You have to stay there from where they were in the round 22 under pressure after that missed penalty from Farrell. This just heads up rugby from South Africa. Smart rugby now. Yeah, really good from setting the mall up in open play. Very rarely will you see that these days, but it smartly won penalty. Pollard. 
to make it 18 points by his boot. Smacks it through. And the margin is back out to nine with South Africa up. Yeah, they needed that South Africa. Just felt as if momentum was changing the last six or seven minutes. We saw they didn't regather the 22 England. They got on the front foot and smart, smart forward play from the South Africans. The Mulan traced from the restart, but it took three to do. And now the penalty with England. And a chance for them to wipe three off again through Farrell. And the South Africans timing are screaming is timing is good. that the Mulan was taken the in the air. They're not happy. Let's just see as he hit early. Is he down? Perfect timing. Yeah, timing is good. Manu Tuolani with a great hit. Dan Coley's good happy. He's had a 16, tough afternoon in the scrum. Penalised Mark the Marks for coming in on the side to clean, clean out. Good response from England. Who's your money on, KT? Oh, it's rough. It's back and forth, isn't it? Just when you think South Africa are going to pull away. Just can't shake England off, and that's who get in the final, in final footy. Changes to come in a moment. Luke Cowan Dickey about to make his presence felt. Now it's with Owen Farrell. And it has become a kickoff between Farrell and Pollard. This two take three off the deficit, and he just squeezes it to the right, to the right part for England. And the margin is back to six. Oh, a shame the pink work. Looked for a minute as if it was just going to hit the upright. Squeezed it in, that's all that counts, is three on the board. Still no tries in this game after 59 minutes. Yeah, Jamie George gone, Luke Cowan Dickey replaces him at 16. Mark Wilson on and 20 replacing Sam Underhill. And also Arjun Schneidman is on replacing that man, Eben Itzabeth. The race start down towards Vinipol, look at Colby going in. Giving away 50 kilos, still making the tackle. Colby on Vunapola. The Mullen up and into touch. There's great weight and direction on the kick from Youngs. It'll be an England line out throw. Yeah, nothing between the Mullen can do in this situation. It's an absolutely inch perfect box kick from Ben Youngs. Good take from the Mullen, but great chase from Johnny May to force him into touch. Cruz and they collapse it legally there, South Africa. And that's going to bring another box kick from Youngs. Colby's back. Colby. Chisling Colby. Oh, it's dazzling the footwork that he can deliver. Beat the bigger defender in the form of Wilson and now. They're isolated a touch, are they, South Africa? No, it's okay. They scrambled, and that will now give De Klerk a chance to send one back off his own boot. Doesn't get a whole lot on it. May is there to take it for England. For Mullen over the top. For Mullen over the top. Not getting it that time round. Force a couple no, of steals three. in the first okay. half. Youngs. Farrell. Whips it there to Tulalangi. Farrell. Watson. Screaming down that right hand side and Villaru goes up. Pulls it in for the box. Kicks off. And in towards the smaller. England backs, yeah. taking a couple of metres, creating the angle there for De Klerk. Again, shallow and contestable with a kick. Mpimpi misses it, Daly against, against. gets it. Here with England, is it? I think it could be a penalty to South Africa for obstruction. 
And Garcia's having a chat to his assistant referee. 14, White, White. changed his lane and hit the players with the okay. shoulder without the ball. 11, penalty there. Okay, well done. Obsession yeah. by 14, White. Big penalty this one. You call it, Sean him a pimp, he missed it, but I think the reason he missed it was Andy Watson. If he changes his line of running in the fence just there, clearly yeah. drops his shoulder on a pimp. Good call, Roman. Good call on the line. far side from Roman Platt. We talk about momentum shift. This is a huge one as we get into the last quarter of this Rugby World Cup final. You've got to keep your head in that situation. Look like he's pulling out the one wood here, Pollard. And he's going to need to absolutely step on it as well. The air just getting a touch heavier as the night progresses, and it's going to take every last bit left in the locker to deliver. Well, that nine-point difference okay. again. Yeah, I was watching the big fella, Frank Steen, who's on the bench in South Africa from inside his own half earlier, and he definitely had the distance. Pollard. Obviously, you mentioned it right at the top of the game, Shawnee, that he doesn't take the kick unless he's confident. And this 59 meters. There he's working out to a two score lead as well. That will indeed, Carl Tanana. Can he do it? He says, I'll only grab the kicking tee if I'm ultra confident. I know my range, I know my limits. He sends it low and flat, and it's short by a long way. Now to touch, so still with South Africa. I think that air is definitely getting a lot heavier than we had when we kicked off Mark Williams. Yeah, it's a huge ask from Andre Pollard. Maybe you could say it's a shot and nothing. But what you could have done there for South Africa is powerful driving line up, put England down to their 22. Instead, it's an excellent clearance actually from Henry Slee. But the skipper is off Galisi. He's got a magnificent evening. Francois Lowe, who's stop. been outstanding off the bench, comes on. Snayman down for the clerk. Pollard just goes crack with a cross-field kick. Looking for Mapimpi. Mapimpi standing there and wins the wrestle for it. Early, Mapimpi, brilliant most effort, player just gets scrum higher earlier than no, earlier Daly, the then they're wrestling. Great work to win a scrum. And now this is very interesting, the scrum, the last scrum we saw, total dominance from England. Joe Marler on the pitch, seems to have taken the initiative off the South African scrum. The South Africans put in big, big moments in the game, KT. He's been absolutely outstanding, Mark Pimpy, in the year. And just a supporting players got South Africa, they go for a ball, hence why they do get the feed into the scrum. Now, do they give it to Delende just to hit it up and then play off their back to blind? Fine! Sit! Stay strong! Strong! Quick pull away from the base of the scrum from De Klerk. Going away from... That attacking weapon that's been going so well for them, Moster. Now they go through the phases. Marks. Met front on by Slade. Mark! Snowman. Change the point of attack late there, and it's messy, but still with the box. Pollard. Force in it, going Not himself. Then. Ups and goes again. Cheeky meters from Andre Pollard. No, but good. LaRue in behind, looking for Peter Sefzatoy and Mapimpi. Daly's back for England. He has two green and gold jerseys on him, driving him towards touch. A territorial gain there for the box, but now the ball back with the English. Billy Vinopola taking it up the park, and it's Young's coming in. Young's down towards LaRue. Good tackle. A great tackle was from Wilson. Arm. Um, McPimpy. McPimpy putting him behind for Arm. Um, Arm. Um, look Back to back to Zoli. McPimpy. Oh my. Skinny. We just need to check the 
The guys, is in front of the kicker or not? We're coming back to check it. But it might just be the dazzling hands of the Kanyoam. Back to Makazoli Mapimpi. Yeah. It might be his 14th try in 14 tests. Yeah. Let's find out. And 13 if he was in yeah. front or not of Provera. Yeah. You, you hear Skinny? The pass and the player in front, yes or no? So, Jerome, to confirm on field no, no. decision is try, <laughs> we are now going to show you the passes yeah. and then we will show you the position of green 13. Yeah. Here are the two passes. Yeah, what do you want? Definitely onside. Look on your arm. The question mark you. is: yeah. Can we see that ball definitively yeah, from Malcolm Marks travel forward? Yeah. Is it the, the, for you? It's nothing clear and obvious. For me, nothing clear and obvious. I Stay with your on-field decision. Okay. For the first time ever, the Springboks score a try in a World Cup final, and the margin goes out to 11. And who? Short side, good hands from Marks, but just the calmness. Look on your arm, take and give so casual. It's just a cup game for that man. What skill under the highest the pressure, KT. Andre Pollard, it's good. He ices McPimpy's try, Carlton Anna. Absolutely brilliant skills there from the spring box, and this is the last pass under pressure. Okay. Gives it nicely to the guy who just can't stop scoring tries the sniper, and that's what the coast get up. They flat back the race at England, and it's going to come back for a toes. It's fine or not? Stay on. We have to suggest that denominations of three will be of no use anymore for England. They've got to try and cross the strike. Not if it's green. Youngs. Youngs getting through. Youngs. Colby goes up. Got a hand on it. And just to knock on. Is that the call? 13. Yeah, he tried to catch a ball. It's going to be an England scrum feed. Uh, again, it's a great read from Colby. They were under all sorts of pressure there. Ben Youngs, first time we've seen him with a ball in hand as a threat. Yeah, clearly there. Just a knock on. He's yeah, going to intercept that. Colby, he's got a chance to regather. A brilliant decision making from the South African right wing. And they made another change South Africa. Willie LaRouche might have done. Jersey 15 being replaced in Jersey 23 by France State. Stay strong and straight. Crouch. Fine. Set. Billy Vinopola peels away. Lowe was With him. Francois Lowe. To Alani. What's left in the tank for England after dominating New Zealand last week? A repeat effort, seven days on. Not an easy thing to do, but with the penalty advantage here, and still there's plenty of time left. They're down by 13. Youngs goes quick. Who's with him? Youngs floating across to Watson. Watson spinning his way towards the line and now feeding it back for good quick ball here. But a left leg holds it in for South Africa with Toje. We need to check Mal here if there's an open by Wiper in the ref. Billy Vinopola. This would really Look make on. it interesting in the closing stages we're going back. Yeah, I think England have not gone. In the contact. Ben Young's quick smart play. We we'll finally see Watson with ball in hand. Again, yeah, though, just keep an eye out on this South African scramble he defense. He loses the ball. He loses the ball. Of each and every South African. Once the line is broken, to get back. Here he is. He's a left with ball. Beats the landy. Francois, Francois Steen brings him down. Steph the toys thrown his body at absolutely everything tonight. And they're in contact. 
Unfortunately for Watson, just loses the pill forward. Yeah. OK. Makazoli Murpimpi just keeps crossing the stripe. He's put six on the board <laughs> in Japan. Nice mate. He and just said something like that. He did the work in the lead yeah. up as well. Anything? Look, Cheslin Colby gets all the plaudits and he's a wonderful, wonderful rugby player, Cheslin Colby. But as you see, Makazoli Mapimpi has been just as effective as dangerous on the left wing. Kick ahead was to perfection. Bukanya arm with the silky skills and composure. Nope. Could it have been easy for Arm just to take it himself and Eleven go for glory, but he ships it on to Mapimpi. And you have to Where's say 11? that could well be the World Cup for South Africa. Yeah, Jonathan Joseph coming on for England now, 23 replacing Johnny May. <laughs> Ten to play in the ninth running of the Rugby World Cup final. South Africa have got one Clutch. hand on the Webb Ellis Cup. Bye. Clear by 13 Six. here. Stay strong. Stay strong. They can work this one into the ground. They can control the tempo. They can wipe Second upon second off the clock, they won't mind this one bit. Oh, they'll be delighted with this, the South Africans. Just taking time from road to regroup, as you say. The clock is against England. It's on South Africa's side. Reset the scrum. Go again. England are in the right area of the field. The South Africa with possession. Stay strong, strong, strong. They punch it up away from their line. Through to Allende. He has been a rock for South Africa at this tournament. De Klerk to touch. And to touch over and over they'll go to just grind down the time remaining absolutely off the park it's been a tactic really from minute one there'll be no heroics from south africa they no need for them to go searching for the 80 meter try on the flip side england got to come up with something quick to alangi that's luke cowan dickie England desperate for some of his tries, going prowess here. Daly will pick up and go. Colby comes back and gets him, lost by England. And South Africa number up well across to the left, but they'll go to the booming boot of Franz Stein, who is hoping his side can hold on and he can get his second World Cup winner's medal. He did it in 2007, he's the only man left on the field for South Africa, looking to do that, Franz Stein. Sets up at fullback. Goody Pollard back there for Cruz. It. it has been immense all night long. This South African defence can hold on here, overrun on the outside, and then Joseph is chopped low by you know who, Damien De Allende. Youngs to Marla. Mala throws himself towards Moster. Now they come back in field. It's popped up here for Wilson. There's just no way through. Across the park they come and losing it. Arms there. Pops up in a toy. Here comes Chesley Colby. Colby bounces towards the fence. Beats one. Still going. Chesley Colby. Chesley Colby. South Africa. Stepped the toy, Bermulen, to a man 
they've made their tackles count. They've got a chance there are marks, big hit from the replacement hooker. Detoy, only one thing to do, get into this man's hands, one on one. Gets away from one of the best defenders in the world, stands him up and he's over KT. Well, cheers, Link Colby. Remember, it's running on one ankle, couldn't go last week in the semi final. Can't go in the final. Chisley Colby is top shelf. We've got to go back to that first half as well when he made the try saving tackle on Courtney Laws as Bongi Manambi and the rest of the crew watch him over the closing meters. Francois Pina, that way, son, that way. Oh, brilliant scenes, really is. They've spoken about it. The greats, Francois Pina, John Smith, comparing this victory to the 95 World Cup victory from South Africa. What an effort from this uh, Springbok team. And you know the result when he lines up now in that kind of range. Pollard, another two on the board. It's a 20-point difference. It's been dominance at one stage. In that second half, around the 50-minute mark, you thought England were back in this one, but there's only been one winner tonight. There might be more to come here for Lukanyo Arm. Lukanyo Arm away for Kitsov. They're finishing with a real flurry here, South Africa. De Klerk, Pollard, looking for Makazoli Mapimpi. This would be some kind of way to finish it to Dalende. In fact, that he's snapped away from Dalende by Watson. There are fairy tales and there are dreams. And there are the, both of those things to the power of a million. That's what would have been if Mapimpi had have had a chance there. Now with England. And still you just hear the ferocity of the defence through Jerome Garcia's ref mark from South Africa on England. They can't slice them open. South Africa rushing up still, but Pimpy forces a knock on. And South Africa can now really nail it home. Field position, possession, up by 20 in the World Cup final. And there are three and a half to play. Yeah, there, there he is, my master card play of the match, Dwayne Vermeulen was gigantic in the Let's opening go. 40 minutes. Defensively with ball in hand as well, carrying, winning Let's crucial go. turnovers. He set the tone. Very his partner in crime there, Pete yeah. Steph the Toy deserves a mention. As does Damien Delande, who's outstanding, but my MasterCard play of the match. Dwayne Vermeulen. They call him four. And he's played like four tonight, incredible performance from the big number eight. Well, Rassi Erasmus and Sia Khaleesi both spoke about what this result would do for the country of South Africa to help reunite them. And with three to play, they can enjoy the closing stages. Wherever they are dialed in around the world, they might just get something else to really, really open the night up with. For Mule and the player of the match. Read into the turf there by Wilson. Yachis. Snyman. Yachis. Looking around and finding Cock. Yeah. Cock <laughs> towards the posts. They continue to fold around. Pollard's looking to drop. Pollard in the pocket deep, looking to ice it. He oh, slices quick, that in. one away to the right. Daly. Daly takes it. No. Back towards the 22. South Africa, Colby, lets it go over the top and we're going all the way back to the midfield. And it'll be another scrum. South African scrum. scrum. Yeah. What a job Rassi Erasmus has done for this South African team. They were in disarray when he took over the reins. What a turnaround. Just sheer power. Just looking at the bench in front of me, all hugging as if the final whistle has gone. 
totally outplayed England in this World Cup final. What a moment for that man. First black South African captain. Historic UV. No doubt shedding a few tears. What an effort. Speaking to Shark Prince, the great South African who got before the game, they've been over in Japan for 10 Crush. weeks. And all that hard work has come to fruition. Five. Sit. Yanchis. Yanchis, they swing to action. Through Pollard. Pollard almost splitting the defence. Yanchis. Skip ball there for Snayman who throws it out the back. Yanchis. Cock. Cock. Latoje stands Let strong. Wait. Leave it wide. Cole told to release. Mostert, Mostert going over the top, Lanches, Snowman again, finishing strong. Better step to Toy, Detroit, Detroit continues to make his circles, they're in vain as we get nearer and nearer to full time. Kitch off. Yanchis. Ten seconds out now. They're about to create no. history as the only team ever at a World Cup to lose a pool game and go on and lift the biggest prize of them all. <laughs> South Africa. Oh, no. A World Cup winners in 2019. They have thumped their way to the Red Ellis Cup. Sia Khaleesi, the captain, in game 50. England had no answer to the power, the precision, and the execution of the Springboks. This, their third World Cup, Okay, full time, and it looks like this. South Africa, 32, England 12, South Africa, the best team on the planet.